Make sure you exercise your right to vote for Comic Cover of the Week, guys. Stay tuned! Hey, comic book fans! Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do Road to Comic Book Cover of the Year 2018. We are on week number 12. That's right, fans. This is the video series where each and every week, you, the fans, get to vote which is your favorite cover of the week based off of the covers that I pick. By the time we get to the end of the year, we're going to have this big vote on who gets that covenant title of comic book cover of the year. So it's a year-long process, but it's never too late to join. Each week is a new week, and every vote counts. So let's get started with last week's books, right? Or current week's books, or wherever you want to go into. I don't even know anymore. First things first, we had Vamp- Vampironica, Supergirl, Marvel 2-in-1, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, the New Mutants, and Scooby Apocalypse. They all got boats, right? But the one that kind of blew it out of the water, once again, was Supergirl, issue 19, the art germ variant, and this guy has been untouchable. So far, this guy's covers have gotten on multiple people's lists of covers of the week. We already have one Supergirl cover that won the first group, and so this one wins another one of cover of the week. So congratulations, Supergirl. At least you got good covers. The content inside may not be good, but hey, good covers. So... Let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this week's books and which books are my favorite covers. And you guys get to vote based off of those. So, my number six book of the week when it comes to a cover goes to Witchblade, issue number four. Um, This cover was really nice. We got the main character on there. I think her name is Alexandra. I don't even remember. She's looking down... You get to see her hair, and in when you look in her hair, you get to see the city within her hair, which is really artistic. And then on her face, we get to see the blood on her face as well. So it's like this, almost like this three-dimensional, this different types of layers that she's going through. Um, so really nice cover. If you guys like that cover and you want it cover of the week, please vote. All right. So, my next favorite cover, number five of the week, goes to Thanos issue number 17. This is a really nice cover, too, as you get to see Silver Surfer. He's on his surfboard, and we get to see the gauntlet coming down, and he's holding it on his back, preventing it from doing, I don't know, mass destruction or whatever the case may be. I haven't read the series, so I can't compare the title um, or the cover to what's going on inside the book. Uh, But I heard it was a very good book, and it was a really cool cover seeing that big gauntlet coming down on him. And it looks like he's holding the weight on his shoulders. Alright, so, if you want to see that get voted for uh, cover of the week, please vote now. Next is my number four. And this is, this rhymes, and this is Mighty Thor, issue number 705. This is the variant cover, another art germ variant, as we get to see Jane Foster as she takes off her helmet, we get to see the hair flowing, and uh, and it's just a very realistic looking cover. Um, there was another really good variant cover for Thor too, and I was tossing it back and forth. The other one has where Jane Foster is standing, and uh, you get to see her looking down, and she's holding Mjolnir. And that was a really nice looking cover too, but um, this was a better one I felt in my opinion. So if you guys want this uh, for your cover of the week, please vote now. All right, so my number three cover of the week goes to Superman, issue number 43. This one is pretty cool as you get to see Bizarro John or Bizarro Boy busting through the comic cover. And, uh, you know, you got Superboy on one side and you got Superman on the other and he's just busting through it, wrecking, wrecking havoc throughout the comic community, right? Uh, so I thought this was a cute cover and this got my number three. So if it's your favorite cover, please vote now. All right, so my number two cover of the week, it goes to 
Harley Quinn issue number 40. This is really cool as you get to see Harley and Ivy together as they're they're using a fishing pole uh, with a batarang at the end of it. And they're like trying to catch Scarecrow. And Scarecrow sees the batarang and he's like scared. He's like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. And it's just cool and they're kind of laughing in the background. So I thought that was a really nice and cute cover. And uh, I could see both of them doing that, teasing Scarecrow. So that was my number two cover of the week. So if it's yours, please vote now. All right. My number one cover of the week goes to Incredible Hulk issue 714. Uh, this is the variant cover as you get to see Emadeus Chow as he is also busting through, which looks like a cover, or I don't know if it's this, the personality of, um, of Emadeus Cho. Uh, in the human form, and he's like splitting his personality in half, showing that the now more dominant and more violent Hulk is is a front and center instead of the, the human form of himself. And that stays true to what happens in the comic. And so that was a really awesome cover in there. So that was my number one pick of the week. And if it's yours, please vote now. So guys, there you have it. There are the books for the week. Again, put your comments in uh, in the comment section below. Remember, you can only pick one book, and the voting is done no later than Monday morning at 8 a.m. Uh, because I do this around 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. on Monday morning. So uh, hopefully you vote, and thank you so much for everyone that participates in this series each and every week. It's a lot of fun, and always, again, the more votes, the better. And fans, until that next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on that next comic book review. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.